Hi, I'm Michelle Rahal with Race Day Nation. Last weekend, I think it would suffice to say that we were all treated to one of the most eventful Spanish Grand Prix races in years. It really had it all. Verstappen and Carlos Sainz blown off the track by a gust of wind. Verstappen's rear DRS wouldn't open, which went over like a fart in church with him screaming on the radio. Team orders to let Verstappen pass his teammate Checo Perez, which didn't make Perez happy at all. And it was necessary in my opinion. Let's face it, Perez isn't in contention for the world championship and Verstappen is. So it was the right call by Christian Horner, Red Bull's team principal, in case those of you didn't know. And to top it off, Charles Leclerc was in control of the race, completely in control, when his turbo failed, which destroyed his chances and he had to retire. That's why in love, war, and racing, you never, ever quit the fight. The result? Verstappen wins the race and takes the lead in the world championship. But the biggest surprise was when Hamilton went from dead last, after colliding with Kevin Magnussen, to finish fifth. Mercedes have made inroads into fixing their cars, and it's long overdue. This could shape up to be a three-way dogfight later in the season. Speaking of which, this weekend is Monaco. It's the crown jewel of Formula One. Monaco's tough enough with incredibly narrow streets, no place to pass, and now we've got cars that have never run on that course. Well, these new cars are heavier, bigger, harder to come to grips with. Just ask Carlos Sainz of Ferrari or Toto Wolff the team principal of Mercedes, who called the cars elephants. Add all that to the outdated course, it's forecast to rain both Saturday and Sunday, and on Sunday it's a strong series of thunderstorms, so they say. Well, this is one race where taking the pole is virtually everything, and you can believe that Verstappen, Leclerc, and potentially Russell and Hamilton have got a shot at it. But don't rule out Alfa Romeo and Valtteri Botas. They got a shot at this too. If it rains as they're predicting, it's game on. You can expect more than one car to crash into those unforgiving guardrails. Actually, don't expect it. Bet on it. You know it's going to happen. This is going to be a high downforce track, maybe the highest of the season. The other fly in the ointment is that there's only one DRS zone and it is very short. It's along the pit straight. That's one more reason that taking the pole and not crashing is almost guaranteeing the winner. Now, who could win this one? Well, the chances are anybody, and Lewis Hamilton might be the one who could do it. Although Charles Leclerc is the favorite here, I am betting that Verstappen is going to fight the hardest to prove the odds makers wrong. He's won here before, and even if they haven't fixed the DRS problem that has plagued Red Bull, he's not going to need it much here. These cars are already wide and the streets narrow, but if anybody takes the pole and gets that hole shot and turn into turn one, they're going to have the widest car ever seen in Formula One. Nobody's going to get past them. On the other hand, the rain is everybody's friend here. You never know what's going to happen, and this could be a master class of skill or a crash fest. We're just going to have to wait and see. For Race Day Nation, I'm Michelle Rahal. You can find me on Facebook at Michelle Rahal or at Race Day Nation or Michelle Rahal, number nine on Instagram. For Rob D'Amico and myself, we'll see you this weekend. Thanks for watching.